So let's go back to the slide master. And um, in the former, in the previous tutorial, we changed um, the appearance of the footer and the number um, fields. So as you can see, when I click on here, it becomes gray. So that's because, as I said, it's uh, a field, which is a special command that does something. So I cannot just choose a letter. It's it's just one group of something. So what I can do here, let's go for example, I'm going to select it, use 20. Um, imagine that you want you have six slides and you don't want them to appear like this one, two, three, four, five, six. You want something different such as um page one out of six or slide maybe two out of six three out of six etc and you do not have the opportunity to do it here within the slide master so what you can do is go back go here and uh, you can tell impress to insert here the command that is going to count the overall number of slides because we have this is the command that um, retrieves the number of the current slide so what, what we need is information information six if I do it by hand I do something like this out of six Oh, this is what I want. That's nice, but if I insert a new slide, 6 is going to stay 6 because it's something we wrote by hand and Impress does not understand that 6 is the total number of pages of slides. So we have to tell it to calculate it itself. So each time Impress is going to calculate uh, in, before is going to present before presenting a slide so insert we are going to insert the command that again um, calculates the number of the total number of um, slides so insert field and then there is author page number we've got it already page count so we've got number and count close master and this is exactly what we need so if I create a new slide it's going to be 8 out of 8 and of course I needed the word slide in the beginning and since the word slide is going to be remain the same on every single um, slide we have to write it by hand so everything we write we type it's a static information. Everything that is going to be recalculated on each slide is called a dynamic information. Slide something, something. So slide six, five, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go back. Other piece of information that you want to um, create using text fields. Unfortunately in Impress we only have eight um, fields. Normally in OpenOffice Writer we have an enormous amount of um, available fields, available commands such as current chapter, current um, section, subsection, whatever. So what we can have here is page number, page count, file name for example, I can use footer here and then enter and I have file name. So I'm going to save, close master and on each slide I'm going to have the file name. So if I rename the file, the file name is going to be automatically um, altered. 
if I have to do it by hand and type it, if I rename it, the file, this information is not going to be updated. Okay, and insert, and you've got file name, Arthur, and then you've got date and time. So let's see how that works. Insert, date and time, and here we saw that already, footer slide number, you've got date and time. So you've got, either it's going to be fixed, so it doesn't matter when the reader is going to open the file, it's going to be the same um, date. So if you're going to make uh, a presentation at a conference or at your job, it's going to be the same date, the date of the presentation, or it's going to be variable. That means that each time it's a current date, so each time we're going to open the file is going to be today's date. Apply to all. So this is the current date, the variable date, so tomorrow is going to be 25th. And of course, let's go back. So what I can do is insert field um, time variable. So this is the current time, 4.14, let's close, then reopen, it's 4.14.13, so 12 seconds later. So I have this opportunity to have a time and date variable. 